Aussie title qualifying continues here at Avalon Raceway. Oh, oh. Peter Bodger, the black number nine, spins to the infield. Mick Parry likewise in the four. Andy Russell three now. We're underway. Ron Watts just runs a little wide. Watts there in fourth. Again, they're just tender footing their way through. Just watch Brown to see if he could get the whole shot again in the 91, the uh, the Oval Demon. And uh, just came a little bit sideways out of corner three before the start, so he couldn't get the power down on that straight. He's drifted right back through the field too. Only Bodger behind him, as well as Dale Grother from the Sunshine Coast. So we'll pick up your race leader. The Cortinas in turn number three. Andy Russell at the wheel. And it's Wayne Ramsdale in the 61. We're going by roof numbers. Roof numbers here in heat race number 19. And ben Ramsdale. Ho Sorry, Ben Holland there. Contact on the wall in the back straight. I know you've been watching the Richmond footballer, Ben Holland. Or the former Richmond footballer. With knees. great interest. Knees, I think it was. Knees? Knees. Mick Parry up to fourth. Looking for Ooh. a good result. You can see the car get a push. That allowed Ben Holland to sneak through, as did Terry Brown. Peter Bodger lost the handle in turn number four. And Dale Grother comes to a standstill. May have suffered some damage. Gee, it really is like they're in slow motion. B when the surface is greasy as it is. Well, I think we, we know we did carry more. Eight laps the distance, green flag at the ready. Sean Hebbard in the wheel of the 39 as Murray Atkin tries to blow right by him on the inside, but Stephen Milthorpe in the 19 car has got the lead. Hebbard and Tim Morse. Lenny Levitt just throws the number two into turn three and loses the handle. He can take our responsibility for that for the single file start. Hebbard through. Looking an absolute treat. Steve Milthorpe into second around the outside. Ronnie, if you don't mind. Tags up and spins. No good. That'll call the cautions out. Little false start. We've got people everywhere. Green flag underway. This track warming session. Tim Morse cooking it big time in corner one. Trying to do a big jump out the front. 39, Shannon. Sean Hebbard just easing off. Morse caught back up into third now. Inside line by Atkin. 15, great drive. Murray Atkin finding the spot beautifully. Our previous leader, Sean Hebbard, back to third. <laughs> great job, B. Thanks, mate. Listening yeah. intently. You're doing an awesome job. <laughs> Tim Morse, the reigning Aussie champ in hot pursuit of Murray Atkin. They're in turn number one. Sean Hebbard of sprint car fame at the wheel of the 39. Kevin Weeks at the wheel of the 22. He's in fourth back then to Daryl Hickson. Doing your hair in the window. <laughs> Did you see that too? <laughs> oh, I've Just seen everything. No, oh, no, she's mucked it up again. Morse trying to get through on the bottom. Reflex, you got to know that by now. <laughs> now you're right. Go your hardest. Murray Atkin still fends off. The multiple Australian champion, Tim Morse. They romp down the back chute into turn number three. Morse now starting to wheel to the bottom. Going for the lead. A little bit of contact in turn four. That'll get you excited. Third, Kevin Weeks. Still fourth is Aaron Trotter. Steve Milthorpe, Daryl Hickson and Sean Hebbard rounds out our field. But all eyes on the leading duo. White flag, one to go. Morse throwing everything at him but the steering wheel as they work off turn number two. Can he steal one off turn four? He can. Again, there's a little contact, but Tim Morse takes the checkers. <laughs> right on the line off turn number four. For Holden in the T-shirts as well as the hoodies, the caps, the beanies. And the stubby holders, of course. Actually, where's the where where And there's the stubby holders. Where did ours go? Oh, we're racing, by the way. We're we are the racing. There it is. Back in action for heat race number 19. Got Mine's in the car, B. Got me banana in it. No worries. As we get set to go, eight laps remaining here in heat race number 19. 
Andy Russell still hangs on from Wayne Ramsdale. Ronnie Watt in the ace, number 54. How cool was Ramsdale to the outside in turn number three? As Russell spins to the infield. Can we stay green? We can. Beautiful. Well done. Terry Brown in third. Then it's Ben Holland, Mick Parry. Dale Grother from the Queensland Club. Smoke. Peter Bodger. Sorry, B. Smoke coming from Holland. Yes, Holland. Familiar blue smoke. So a little, little bit of problems there for Ben Holland. G. Ramsdale put a great move on for the lead in turn number three. And our early pace setter is back at the tail of the field. Bad luck for Andy Russell. G. Holland starting to smoke profusely now out of turn four in the 65. He's in fourth. He's got five laps to hang on. So be interesting to see if he can last the distance. It's the final qualifying heat race for each of these drivers, B. This is their fourth and final chance to get into our main event. Otherwise, they're sentenced to a B main or a C main. Holland uh, did experience some uh, engine troubles later in the night, too. We know he was blowing some smoke, but in his last run, too, it did uh, sound like a bit of a chaff cutter. Hopefully, he's got over those, and maybe this is just a little bit lingering from, that, uh, from those problems that he's tried to overcome earlier. Here's your race leader on the main straight. 61 on the roof. Wayne Ramsdale. Ron Watts there in the 54 in second. And it's Terry Brown in the 91. So field reasonably spaced out around Avalon Raceway. Just what the doctor ordered B was a V-can. <laughs> lost Dale Grother in turn three and four. And that will bring on the cautions. As Bodger also spun to avoid any contact down there in three and four. Up with two to go. Heat race number 19. Can we get it in the books? Wayne Ramsdale, Ron Watts in second. Terry Brown, Mick Parry in the Avalon four in fourth. Then it's Ben Holland. Terry Brown challenging for second. White flag this time by. Two laps to go. Well, one and a half. One now. <laughs> Here comes Terry Brown through to second. Ronnie Watts runs wide. Gives up two positions. Ronnie. Oh, oh, no. Well, that is a tough way to lose two positions. Only one lap out. The 61 of Wayne Ramsdale will make his way to the main straight. Except the checkered flag for victory here in heat race number 19. The 91 of Terry Brown. And that's a similar position to so many last night. Peter Bodger right at the pit oh. gate. This is heat race number 20. Billy Reek, Peter McCarthy, Alan Irwin, Nathan Drew, Graham West. Oh. Graham Cox just gives him a don't argue in turn number one. Schmackos. Oh, they're three and four wide. Does anyone even... Oh. The <laughs> well, maybe an Alan Irwin just a little off the pace and everybody's trying to get by and the concertina effect is Peter McCarthy's your leader after all that. Well, One down, 11 to go. A little bit of damage on the front uh, fiberglass of the Drew It's now $4,995. But it got spat out. Good on him. Amazing. Here comes Westy. The LJ Tirana. Go. Running in third. Two of the veterans. How many years experience between these two? Billy Reek and Graham West. Amazing. Graham Cox there in the 15. Nathan Drew. Gavin Ow in the 2. Alan Irwin. Paul Bianchi in the 8. Stephen Zahl in the 46. Rounds out our field. So McCarthy in the Mazda RX-7. Believe it or not, taking it to some big guns. Billy Reek in 2nd. What a great performance for Billy if he can hang on. Fair to say it could be one of the easier heat races we've seen. Not that there is an easy one in an Australian title. Certainly no Drew Galley. Or Darren Cockrell for that matter. Jolly. It's Even the, Walling. So. It's, it's the motto you don't mind having near the finals. Absolutely. If you want a, a good, run, clean run. Yep. Good, clean run. You know most of the other guys are more you know, experienced, going to look after their cars. Maybe they've been doing it a little bit longer, privateers, all that sort of stuff. 
and they're going to look after each other, and they're going to get through on a clean race. Peter McCarthy still continues to lead. Billy Reek in second. Graham West from Graham Cox and Nathan Drew in fifth. Westy's again challenging for second. He could be the biggest chance to advance here with still six laps remaining. Mind you, Billy Reek started to reel in your leader now as they work off turn four. McCarthy continues to hang on. I'm just thinking about the headline, Mazda, Commodore, Tirana. <laughs> Chrysler. Chrysler. We've got all four. Amazing. Well, you don't see that too often. There is no doubt about that. Five to go. Alan Irwin, the slower car, will be a put a lap down very shortly by McCarthy. Is this an opportunity for West or Reek to seize an opportunity? McCarthy scoots to the high side. Well, he was a little hesitant on the high line, but he snuck back to the bottom. Reek got a chance to close up. Beautiful there. He had a big chance, didn't he? I think McCarthy made the right decision in the end to go to the bottom. Not yep. a lot on the high side here at the moment. And no one's been on it yet either, so it's going to be a lot of moisture at the top. So McCarthy, Reek, West, they're all in turn number one with three to go. There's Graham Cox, just waiting for fifth place. There he is now in the green number 18, Nathan Drew. Gavin Au, Paul Bianchi, Stephen Zahl in the 46. Two laps to go for your race leader. He's halfway down the back straight. Peter McCarthy driving car number six from the Mildura Club. Now Billy Reek has a big look on the inside. Go, Billy. White flags on display. There's one to go. Nathan Drew makes heavy contact with the concrete in turn number three. Will that bring on the cautions? No. We're continuing on. Peter McCarthy will take the win. Car number six from the 12 of Billy Reek. The 56 of Graham West, home in third place. There's fourth is Graham Cox in the 15. And the unthinkable has just happened. Equation. <laughs> David Smith, our pole sitter. And Jeremy McClure. Yes. I'm going to say that slowly for the remainder of the evening. Now, Phil McAuliffe's oh. in this one too, B. I'll tell you a yep. story about Phil McAuliffe. Oh, bang. We copped an absolute shellacking last night for calling him McAuliffe. It's McAuliffe. Oh, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> well, I take the rap for you all the time. Oh, yeah, I know. Sorry <laughs> about that one. Well, I thought it was the same as the comedian. I thought you said it the same way. Well, it would be McAuliffe. No, the comedian. Oh, it doesn't matter. So how do we say it properly? McAuliffe. 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 We copped a shellacking for, uh, for last night's effort. We got zero out of ten, apparently. So McClure would dearly love it for his sponsors. Phil McAuliffe in the 36. And we're underway. Paul Briggs, the boxer, in position four. Phil Pottage. Bang. The whole genuine parts. Number 46, we're underway. This is a little tougher heat race, B, as they've all come to play. David Smith in the 19, your leader McClure. From McAuliffe, Pottage. Briggs. Jason Price there just getting very close to the uh, wall as he came past us. Stevie Downs again with his hands full, running wide off turn number two. Mick Hetherington trying to make some forward progress. As is this talented youngster. Been mightily impressed by Aidan Raymond from Gympie in Queensland. He will be a national champion before too many more seasons, I would imagine. Aidan Raymond. Only a youngster. Price again throws oh, it into turn number three, as does Hetherington on Paul Briggs. Briggs in the 76, may coast to a stop in turn number four. All We've got nine to go. Yeah, only thing holding me back is the, uh, <laughs> it's getting dirty. <laughs> We're underway. Nine to go. McAuliffe having a big look at our race leader, David Smith. He's just on the outside of an A-main berth. He'd love to run one and two. 
Smith from a Caleb. Here comes Phil Pottage. Pottage just ranges up on the inside. Can't make the pass. Jeremy McClure in fourth. Aiden Raymond back to Hetherington. Ken Alberni. Gee, they're tight for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. As Aiden Raymond now sneaks through. So does Mick Hetherington. You don't have to ask him twice. He follows through in the blink of an eye, Jeremy McClure. He's back to position six. I think the effect, uh, sorry Gavin there, but um, getting our V8 dirt modifieds out there, we're seeing it straight away. Yeah, absolutely. We're certainly getting back up to speed. Still, I, I, feel, I still think the conditions are, there's a few little testing spots. We've seen that. There's a, that little bit of push out of corner two. And there's a little bit happening in the start of three, I think. Just sometimes there's a few lines there that don't quite add up. But overall, I think it's coming on. Track's reasonably narrow, you'd have to say. There's yep. not too many getting off that racing line, which no. we can only hope widens up a little bit as Aiden Raymond goes for another position on Phil Pottage in turn number three. Lean on me. Well, this is where we're looking for that spot. Is there a high line at all, considering the size of these cars? And certainly two or three wide with a bit of contact in three. Is there going to be a high line later in the night? Yeah, we've got them coming together over in turn number three. That'll bring on the cautions. As you mentioned, I was waiting for Mick Hetherington to make his charge through, but Aiden Raymond has impressed me no end this uh, weekend. Young guy from Gympie. May have a flat front left on the big Ford as it comes around. We should check that out. Sitting very low on that side on the 51. Stevie Downs, yeah, he's yeah. been in everything. Uh, in this heat race. Still four laps remaining here in heat race number 21. One down after the restart, three to go. David Smith. From Phil McAuliffe, Aiden Raymond in third. Phil Pottage, and here comes Hetherington. Michael Hetherington sneaks through now into fourth. He started deep in the field. And Hetherington sneaks through on Pottage, running that stock standard Alloy Tech V6. McClure, Alberni, Briggs, and Price in the 82. 51 just going infield. Steve Downs, he just can't control it there with that flat. He may have a bit of camber problem on the right front too. White flag, one to go. All things equal, Smith should hang on for victory here in heat race number 21 as Hetherington's a big shot at position three. Challenging Raymond, the young driver from Gympie. Off turn four for the final time in heat 21. It'll be the 19. He'll take the win, David Smith. Watson out of two. Marty Horson, another from Mildura, starts out of three. Trevor Mills. Current Aussie champ, Justin Drew's in the thick of the mix. Anthony Wilson, he too's in the thick of it. You can feel the intensity starting to lift. We've got one going around. In turn number three, that'll bring on the cautions without a solitary lap being run. Colin Hockley's also in this one as the yellow lights blink on. Cooling as Ash Parkinson gets a good start. Neil Watson, look at the don't argue oh. from Marty Horson. Ooh. Trevor Mills trying to come through. Greg Walling, Justin Drew. Colin Hockley's on his outside. It's for about seven. <laughs> they are racing the wheels off them. Look at Drew, oh. just got a little push. Just when it looked like he was going to go straight to fourth, he got a little push, may have been a nudge. Well, and he's back to sixth. It's your leaders, Ash Parkinson, in turn number four. Gee, it's helter-skelter stuff, isn't it? Marty Horson, Trevor Mills. Neil Watson, Colin Hockley. Drew. Justin Alberni, you mentioned him, he's coming from the tail. Anthony Wilson. Greg Walling may be suffering the ill effects of last night's heavy impact with the pit gate. And Jim Spears in the 55. Well, Drew just going 
to the tail. Has he got problems or is he just saving the car? Well, there was a there was a chance for an outside pass. There is just no outside line delivering yet from this track, and uh, I think he just got caught up. Halfway home for Ash Parkinson. The high port cylinder heads victory lane race gear number five. Marty Horson in second. Our high tech heads up display just coming into effect. We'll pick up third place. Trevor Mills. He's right there. He's been showing some awesome speed this weekend I've been impressed with him Mills continues to run strongly now drew to the outside of Greg Walling and Anthony Wilson starting to mount a charge but it may be too late look at him swiftly to the outside gee he is good to watch when he's in full form your leaders in turn number two and Marty Horson throwing everything at him but the steering wheel Justin Alvini is our smoker on this uh, on this heat Trevor Mills just dropping off the pace ever so slightly as Horson just tags Parky. He knows he's there now. Trevor Mills still solid in third. Neil Watson in fourth from Alberni and Drew, who really has set about reeling them in. Gave them a huge head start. How far can he get? Hockley, Wilson, Walling and Spears. Next time by, there'll be three to go. Drew's currently in sixth. Now to the inside of Alberni, looking for fifth. Got it. And moves through to fifth, as does, does Justin Drew. Your leaders in turn number three. Back to the main straight with two to go. Ashley Parkinson. Marty Horson, Trevor Mills in third, there's Neil Watson in the 43, and Justin Drew. He's in the top five. Greg Walling's got his hands full in the 31. Wilson, just letting him know he's there. Spears on the inside as well on the 55. White flag, one to go, and these two have been deadlocked for the duration. Parkinson starting to blow a little smoke off turn number four. It'll matter naught. He'll take the win. Marty Horson home in second. From Trevor Mills in the 75. From he leads them to the main straight. McClure, Todd Doyle. Keep an eye on Miles and Brian Galley. Our high points man from last night in the seven car. He's second last on the circuit. But watch him come after them. G. McClure runs wide, gives up some valuable ground. Darren Cockrell's in there as well in the 27. A whole bunch of big guns out in this one. This being heat race number 23, Peter Walter Hotondo Holmes bringing us the action. Galley runs wide and Cockrell slips through. <laughs> Interesting all racing at the tail as Doyle takes the lead. Take nothing away from Queensland champion Todd Doyle. He's got the lead. Brett Simpson back to second. McClure. Solid in third. He's been deserving of a little more luck than he's received, that's for sure, last night. But nonetheless, having a good run in this one. Gavin, just watching the tail, working beautifully at the moment. Cockrell and Galley just fighting it out beautifully. And that's for the final position, believe it or not. <laughs> Amazing. Mark Ferguson also been impressive. He's currently running fourth in the 49. As I say, that Wayne Miles scoots through in the Oscott number 45. I'm not saying another word. You've picked it beautifully. David Jacoby, Darren Cockrell, and Brian Galley at the tail. Look at them go. Three wide. This is how even this category is. When you've got the calibre of Ferguson, Jacoby, Cockerell, and Galley <laughs> racing for the final four positions in a heat race. And, you, and they're really muscling through. There, There's not much line, as we talked about on this racetrack at the moment. There's pretty much one line, and they are having to muscle through on the entrance and exits to corners to try and get up. Doyle's your leader. He's in turn one and two. He's halfway home here in heat race number 23. Brett Simpson in second. Matt McClure. Oh. Wayne Miles. Mark Ferguson. Galley now Galley. Oh. You watched him just oh. bump his way oh. through it. Look at Cockerell. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> For the final three positions, it's the race of the night so far.
Cockerel's Monaro now looking very comfortable. Oh. David Jacoby, and has Galley got problems? Maybe front end. He just he couldn't pull it down at all out of the last corner. Brian Galley, you may be right with the front right hand corner of the number seven damaged. Oh, tough luck. He was high points, man. No, they're going to call it. Oh, there we go. Jacoby will bring on the cautions, but it's something I think was going to come out anyway for Brian Galley. Yes, well picked up. So it looks like terminal for this heat race at least. As Todd Doyle leads off Brett Simpson, Wayne Miles, Mark Ferguson, Darren Cockerell. Look at him starting to come. If, look, Galley's also infield. Sorry. That damage suffered. Just looking at with Brian Galley, potentially a, a, a DNF, and uh, this is a fantastic opportunity for Cockerell in regards to points. Well, Cockerell trying to get by now on Ferguson. It's the race for fourth. Todd Doyle from Queensland. Scotty Two Hotties join us upstairs. Simpson in second. Miles. Now Cockerell. Ferguson. And Matt McClure in the 29. Gavin working the room beautifully there, keeping up to date with everything that's going on and calling a race at the same time. Main straight for your race leader, Todd Doyle. White flags on display, one to go. Now here comes Cockerell for third. Lays down the challenge to Wayne Miles from Cairns in Queensland. They run wheel to wheel for third. Doyle with a little bit of smoke starting to come from the 14. He'll take the win. Oh, I don't know how you do it. Oh, doing it for the girls, Fiona Verhoeven. She starts from two. Mark Deckard, our pole sitter in the Monaro. And we're underway. Our final qualifying heat. Russell Bent, he's in the middle of the field, the Victorian champ. Watch them through three and four for the first time. One down, 11 to go. Fiona Verhoeven hanging on to the lead. Can she try and take victory? Deckard in second. Rodney Burr now moves to the bottom, gives him the don't argue in turn four. Oh, Russell Bent. Mick Sullivan there in fourth. And stopped. And the caution will come on. It's another colour flag too, getting ready by the looks of it. Yep, that was a big don't argue out in turn number four. And there's not a lot of grey in this one. Final qualifier here tonight. Jared Stokes wants a 50-50 ticket upstairs, two girls. Verhoeven leads off Mark Deckett from Horsham. Russell Bent. Mick Solomon. Back to Craig Williams, the Pope, John Paul, Johnny oh. Purser. Main straight for your leader. Doing it for the girls. Nine to go. Deckett having a big peak on the outside in the better suspension. Monaro sets her up for an inside pass. Down the back shoot they roll. Gee, Fiona's so smooth, isn't she? She's doing a nice job trying to fend off Deckett. And here comes Russell Bent. And the Bass Highway Waste Entry. Fiona's picking some really good lines here at the moment. She, look, she's open for a challenge on the exit to corner two. But if she's got the big falcon wound up down the back straight, she can hold on. She is running a nice, tidy line. The Blue Power Racing Developments, number 38 of Fiona Verhoeven. That's just the chance there, Gavin, on the exit to corner two. But she How holds on. How smooth is she? Yep, she's holding on. She's not letting that upper sneak uh, blow her off her line. Absolutely. And she's not hugging the bottom. She's not driving defensively. She's running her own line saying, come and get me, boys. Race is on for second and third now, though. Deckett and Bent as Fiona just drives away from them. How cool will this be? She'll bring the house down. Fiona Verhoeven. Go, girl. Go, girl. Big mover uh, back in the bay. The Shark Bay entrant, uh, John Purser, working the Monaro nice. Uh, made up two spots at the moment. Russell Bent continuing to challenge. Deckett runs wide. Here comes Russell Bent. He rockets through. Brian Alexander, he's a popular man. There's four to go. 
Well, I'm not sure if I can barrack for anyone, but come on, Fiona. <laughs> That's not like you. Let's go. Russell Bent now challenging. Go, Fiona. Hold the line. Oh, she gets a little push in the middle of one and two. Can Bent sneak through? No. Nah. Thinks better of it. Fiona continues to hit the same mark every lap. Two to go. Come on, girls, get behind Fiona Verhoeven. Russell Bent, Mark Deckett, Johnny Purser closing in fourth. White oh. flag this time. Bent not laying a corner panel on Fiona. One to go. Come on, girls. Can she hang on? Fiona now half a lap to take victory in heat 24. Russell Ben in second and Fiona Verhoeven will win heat 24 for the girls. <laughs> Let's get ready to rock and roll. Daryl Hickson in the 16. Woo. He started from four. Millthorpe's your leader. Bang. Yeah, I know you love a bit of crash and bash. Sean Hebbard in the 39. Aaron Trotter right behind him. Wide open and hauling ass out in front is Steve Millthorpe. We'll get letters about that. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh. That's what you come to see the dirt modified. Wide open around Avalon Raceway. Stevie Moulthorpe. Lloyd Hobson in second. Trevor Perry. Go back to Kevin Weeks in the 22. Daryl Hickson. Murray Atkin. Now Tim Morse. Upstairs and going for more down the back chute. Have a look at the Morse form. He is in great form. The Morse force. Kevin oh. Weeks just right in front of him, gives him the bump and run. Millthorpe back to the main straight. Back underneath, yeah. Tim Morse dive bombs into turn three. Knew it was there. He's into position four. Three to go for your race leader. Looks like uh, Hebbard's got a bit of problems there in the uh, ultra pink. Tim Morse again on the high line. He loves Avalon Raceway. The scene of his very first Australian Championship. Oh. Perry hikes the left front wheel on the 55 as Moore scoots through. He's in hot pursuit of second place, Lloyd Hobson, but there's only two to go. White flag this time for Steve Milthorpe. One to go for your race leader, Hobson in second. Here comes Morse in third. Half lap now for your race leader as he approaches Lenny Levitt. <laughs> What a performance. Steve Milthorpe takes the win. Lloyd Hobson home in second. May have had a oh. flat right rear tyre as he crossed the line. Tim Morse in third. Levitt comes to a standstill in turn number two. Speed cars, David Crabtree and David Patterson. Start of the front row, Troy Jordan in the 11. Is that Brad Jackson? I'm going to clean this windscreen. The Wild Child makes it three wide on the inside. Anthony Bryan on the outside. Peter Gent Jr., Eden Jordan, Craig Smith. Roger Smale and Jackson stops right on the end of the main straight for Avalon Raceway. Oh, Craig oh, no, Smith. Oh. You can see he had some left front damage on that 33 and it just turned hard right. Jordan trying his luck on the high line. Gets his way into second. Crabtree still your leader. Patterson back in third. Gent Jr. in fourth in car number three. Jordan still reeling in your leader. They're in turn number one with five to go. Almost a race in pairs, um, Gavin, if you look at the way it's laid out. Where will he find his way through? If any, Crabtree running a nice tidy line as we saw Fiona Verhoeven do earlier on. Patterson doing likewise, trying to Oof. fend off Gent Jr. Early on the sideways kick there. One thing about Troy Jordan, he will not die wondering. Crabtree. 
just runs ever so slightly wide in turn four, allowed an opportunity, only a small one, however, and Jordan unable to take advantage. Main straight. Crabtree continues to lead Jordan. Patterson, likewise, holds on to third ahead of Jen. Eden Jordan. Anthony Bryan and Roger Smale. White flag, one to go for David Crabtree. It'll be a pretty big scalp if he can fend off Troy Jordan. Look at the lead they've got over third place. Patterson with Gent Jr. right on his tail. Check it, flag time. David Crabtree takes the win from Troy Jordan, home in second. Cool. Oh, already some debris in turn number one. It was fairly minor. Oh, Alberti, that was tagged the wall. Dang. Billy Reek clipped it back in. You can see it from here. Mick Solomon was also very clean. Main Stevie Downs, Ben Holland, Paul Briggs there in position three. Another one that I fancy to go to the front. Another one that I fancy is Andy Russell, the Tassie champ. He's working on the inside now of Holland for third. He's one spot shy of a transfer. 14 laps remain. Gee, it's a great C-Main field, isn't it? 16 cars. Intense and close. Bang! Sparks on the back by the 15. And it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Stevie Downs, your leader. The Pope, John Paul, Andy Russell, and here comes Briggs. The oh. boxer. They're three wide for third. They're all one spot shy. The Pope John Paul's hanging on to that final transfer. The Pope wants a little more insurance. He wants the lead. 12 to go this time for Steve Downs. Andy Russell, I thought, was going to blow right by them. But he's watching on in fourth. Briggs challenging for the lead after getting to second around the Pope John Paul. Mick Solomon, he's back in fifth. But you would imagine the transferees will come from the top four. For the remainder, you're on the trailer and going home. Holland in. The Pope John Paul gets a push, gives up third to Andy Russell. Andy now one spot shy of a transfer. The only driver with his home state painted on his car. And loves it, wearing it proudly. The Taswegian. Steve Downs in the 51 continues to set the pace. Boy. Briggs now. What a challenge this is as he throws it down to him. Briggs, the West Australian challenging the New South Welshman for the lead in the C main. Eight to go as Briggs grabs the lead. So you've got a West Australian, a New South Welshman, a Tasmanian before the first Victorian. Mick Solomon spins to the infield. May have suspension damage the way that car was handling. And is that Bianchi involved again? Yeah, Reek in there oh, No, as well. it's not. Bianchi just safely through now. And now the caution lights come on. He's to advance into tonight's B-Main. The Pope John Paul's right there as well. And we resume. Mark Deckett making a late charge. He's up to sixth. Graham Cox just ahead of him. Still Briggs leads from Downs. Russell. Then it's John Paul. Graham Cox. Mark Deckett. Gee, that second transfer position, B. You can just sense that it will be on in earnest before this one's done. Briggs looks comfortable out in front. And still with five remaining, there is enough time and possibly enough opportunities. The racetrack has opened up. Mick Solomon, unfortunately, spinning to a standstill down in turn number three and four. And Gavin Howe yes. also involved in the Geelong Car Carriers entry. And Andy Russell, a Tassie champ, while running third, comes infield. Downs from New South Wales will also transfer. And one spot shy will be the Pope, John Paul. Thunder and lightning from the V8 Dirt Modifieds. As you'd expect from pole position, Tim Morse on his merry way. 
Oh. They wheel through three and four for the first time. Murray Atkin in second, Steve Billthorpe in third. Daryl Hickson back then to Aaron Trotter. Lloyd Hobson, oh. Trevor Perry, Kevin Weeks <laughs> and Sean Hebbard. Kevin Weeks got a little tap and uh, shot him backwards, but the big one I love is Trevor Perry monoing down the back straight. Ah, oh, awesome stuff. G. Lloyd Hobson had a big look at Adam Trotter. Aaron Trotter, Sean Hebbard is infield in the 39. Morse. Well, he will belt the daylights out of a race record if we can stay green. Trotter spins infield in the 29. Is he clear? Away. Nine to go. Millthorpe from Murray Atkin. Oh. Daryl Hickson in the 16. Oh. Oh. Trotter gets a little oh. sideways. Weeks, Hobson at the tail. Have a good look at the form of the Aussie champ out in front. He's wide open. Wheels that TMI Industries number one through turns one and two. Oh. And Weeks just about unloads at 22. Millthorpe in hot pursuit. Trying vainly to hang on to the Aussie champ. Here's picture perfect as he blows into turn three and four. Six to go. None better in this category in the country than Tim Morse, the man leading your feature event here at Avalon Raceway. The team cars battling for third. Murray Atkin and Daryl Hickson in the 16. Lloyd Hobson, Trotter. Kevin Weeks in the 22 rounds out our field. Settling in. Settled in. It's a freight train here at Avalon Raceway. Quarter of a lap advantage now to your race leader, Tim Morse. This time by, there'll be three to go. The reigning Aussie champ doing as he pleases. He's got one event remaining for the season. The end of the month at Parramatta City Raceway for the final round of the Summer Slam Series. Two to go for Morse. Well, he's wide open. The ground pounding V8s in action. Murray Atkins still solid in third. Lloyd Hobson's reeled him in. He's challenging Hickson for fourth as the white flag is out. One to go. You've seen a clinic here at Avalon Raceway from Tim Morse. Powerhouse display from the Aussie champ. Check it, flag falls. Quarter of a lap victory for the Aussie champ. B main, we take four cars to the back of our A main. For Geelong car carriers, this is the Aussie title for Monty Proddies. And the Pope. Well, he was just involved. Bit of debris just in corner two there, Gavin. Marty Horson may have some problems. In turn number four, slowing dramatically. Will that bring on the cautions? I think it won't. We stay green. Well done. Wilson's your leader. G. Rodney Burr's on the move. Quickly into second. Ronnie Watts back then to Wayne Miles. Ronnie. The Oscott, number 45. He's got some pressure now. Gee, look at him coming through on the bottom. It's Wayne Ramsdale. Jeremy McClure in the AC Delco 21. Looked like he was going to grab fourth. But only just for a moment or so. Oh, and there's Horson. Front wheel. Front Gee. Right. Yeah, severe damage to the front right-hand corner of the suspension. Pick up your race leader, Wilson. He's trying to run and hide on them. Burr, and it's Watts. Miles looking for some insurance. He's in fourth currently. Ramsdale back to McClure. Graham West in the Tirana in the 56. Dale Grother in the 92, right behind them. Eleven to go this time for your race leader. Still, the battle is on in earnest for third, fourth, which are the two key positions. Miles with Ramsdale challenging in the Cortina on his inside. McClure likewise trying to challenge. Dale Grother trying to mount a charge. Graham West just ahead of him in the 56.
Your leader runs through turn number four. It's Anthony Wilson. Nine to go for him. There's second. Rodney Burr in the 81. Ronnie Watts still hangs on to third. Miles is the man with all sorts of pressure. And look at Ramsdale lose some ground. McClure knows he needs another position and here's his opportunity. Jeremy McClure gets through to fourth. It's the fourth and final transfer spot. A little bit happening with the flags. We'll try and keep you posted on that. It is the black flag. Thought it was. Wilson continues to lead in turn number three. It's in hand, B. Just keep an eye on who it's for. I'm watching the 21 car of McClure. Gee, I think it is. Yep. He's in fourth on the circuit. And we've got one unloaded. Turn number four. Red flag. Well, B, as you said, it's given us a fairly different look with Graham West. Yep. Now running through onto the fourth and final transfer. Ron Watts, Wayne Miles, one spot shy. Ronnie Watts in third. Rodney Burr in the 81, and Anthony Wilson continues to lead with only three laps to go. Look at the pressure on third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth at the moment. Actually, let's throw it in there. Well, that's what we come for. Some close, intense racing. So competitive, aren't they? Ramsdale wants to get through. Miles wants oh. to get through. West. Look oh. at Ramsdale. Steal one on the line. Oh, the white flag is on display and Ramsdale steals the final transfer. His team would be going bananas. Well, West, West, big disadvantage getting bumped on the outside line. He's taken third. He wants some more insurance. Watts now in the fourth and final. Can Westy steal one? Oh, it was nearly going to be a controversial finish, but he hangs on. <laughs> so I'll tell you how close it is. West now has... Oh, not the tidiest start I've seen from Eden Jordan and David Patterson. Peter Gent trying to get through on the bottom. Yellow. Anthony Bryan, the New South Wales 32, was quick to advance. Something. They'll drill. They just drill. All right, go. Oh, and he just about collected the main straight wall at that start. Bishop sneaks through. Still great. Sneaks through on Crabtree. Ooh. No, he doesn't. Contact. Main straight, Eaton Jordan's your leader in the 10. Peter Gent Jr., David Patterson in the four. Troy Jordan, oh, he's got his hands full. 14 to go, 13 this time. Anthony Bryant and Harley Bishop run wheel to wheel. It's deep in the field, Roger Smale looks on. Eaton Jordan setting the pace. Here goes Peter Gent Jr. Gent now's your leader. Car number three, he's got 12 laps to hang on. Eden Jordan, David Patterson, Troy Jordan in the 11. They're three wide deep in the field. The meat and the sandwich is Harley Bishop. Look at Harley rim riding around the top. Oh, there's no shortage of bravery from these boys. Gent continues to lead. Starting to stretch the oh, That is a heavy hit. Tree Roger Smale with 11 laps. Who's got anything remaining? Gent trying to open a lead. He is a great front runner. Carries plenty of car speed as Troy Jordan works the high line now. Leaves the gate open for Harley Bishop who will go from fourth to second. Before oh, Troy Jordan. Well, he sneaks through to second. Bishop was just bouncing his way through turn two, and that allowed an opportunity for Jordan, and he seized the moment. Both drivers in hot pursuit of Peter Gent. Eight to go for your race leader. Gent from Jordan. Bishop back to Eden Jordan, Crabtree and Roger Smale, but all eyes on the top trio.
Bishop winds up on the high side. This track is lightning fast on the groove. Jordan now has caught Peter Gent. Oh, the showman. We call him Flash in the 11. He's all Ooh. Peter Gent, who's lost part of the bonnet, I would imagine. Well, my, oh, my. Yep. Right from the very nose. Well, it might be from Jordan's number 11. It's not slowing him down. None as he goes for the lead. Now, look at Bishop rocket through on the bottom. <laughs> How brave are they? That was a big movie set up from deep in turn three. Monster slide job for second. And he's in hot pursuit of Peter Gent Jr. Just when it looked like Bishop would run third tonight, he's in with a big chance of victory. Gent, unaware of the dramatic race going on behind him, as Bishop moves to the bottom. Gent shuts oh. the gate. Drag racing for the lead. Gent and Bishop, neither giving an inch, and Bishop grabs the lead. Gent and Jordan, throw your blanket over them. One to go. Exciting stuff from the speed cars. Bishop thunders away to another feature race victory in the Challenge Series. Unstoppable for the wild child. Gent Ooh. will finish for second. Jordan maybe for third. Just waiting for Ron to step from the car. Well, officially, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick off our medal presentations for our 20 starters in today's 2007 Geelong Car Carriers Modified Production Sedan Championship. And the first driver, starting from position number 20, everybody from New South Wales, please make some noise for Ron Watts. And better late than never. <laughs> Driving the 61 car, he'll start from position 19, everybody. How about it for the Victorian, Wayne Ramsdale. Starting from position 18, also from Victoria, from the Rosedale Club. How about a nice round of applause for Rodney Burr. The winner of our B-Main from Ballarat, driving the thrifty car, Reynolds Commodore. How about it for Anthony Wilson? Qualifying directly in, starting from position 16, a local Avalon registered driver, Phil McAuliffe. Starting from position 15, from Queensland. How about a nice warm Avalon welcome for Mark Ferguson? How cool is this? Another of the Avalon registered cars starting from position number 14, the Avalon 4 of Mick Parry. Running the stock standard Alloy Tech, number 48 for Holden Genuine Parts. Please put your hands together for Phil Pottage. The South Australian doing it for the Blue Oval. How about it for the Ford fans for Terry Brown? <laughs> How cool is it for this young guy? All the way from Queensland, starting from position 11. Give it up for Aiden Raymond. Now into the top 10. We're halfway through them. Another from the Victorian Garden State. How about a nice round of applause for Brett Simpson? Wouldn't he love to add an Aussie title to his Victorian Championship victory? For Bass Highway Waste, driving the 13 car. How about a nice round of applause for Russell Bent. Starting from position at number eight. Debut this car, it's beautifully turned out. How about it for former national champ, Ashley Parkinson. Well, he was high points man. His fourth heat didn't go to plan. He'll start from position seven. 
Driving the Victoria 7, Brian Galley. Now we get into the top six. Starting from position six. Please put your hands together for Trevor Mills. Starting from position five from Ballarat. Please put your hands together for him, Mick Hetherington. Now we get down to the second row. Starting from position four. Well, the Victorians are almost dominating the top six. Please put your hands together for David Smith. Brand new Monaro debuted last night. He put it to good use. He'll start from position three. Please make some noise for Darren Cockerell. And now to the front row. Starting from position two, the defending champion from Grovedale, your hometown hero, everybody. Give it up for Justin Drew. Justin, come on over, mate. We'll grab a quick word with you. Come on over, mate. The anticipation, back-to-back -back titles. What's the game plan for 40 long laps here at Avalon Raceway? Well, I think we just have to hang in there for as long as we can, I suppose, and just see what the track goes like and if it's going to go slick and a bit of throttle control and see how we go. Spoke to you earlier in the week. You weren't overly uh, excited about the prospect of defending. You're a little more confident now? Yeah, a little bit more confident starting off the front row with Todd. And, um, this is the fastest the car's been all year, so we're just yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Mate, we'll let you go now. I know you're pretty uh, mentally ready to go. How about it one more time, everybody, for the defending champ, Justin Drew. Your pole sitter is the Queensland champ. He's a former Australian number two. He comes from Queensland, everybody. Give it up for your pole sitter, Todd Doyle. Todd, come on over, mate. We'll catch a quick word with our pole sitter for the 2007 title. You've been in this position before. She's a long way, 40 laps, and you've got some tough customers behind you. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty nervous. A lot of Victorians around me, so that's a bit of a worry, but I'll oh, see how we go, I suppose. Mate, we're a friendly bunch, I tell you, but we're only sitting on the outside. You've got to worry about the blokes that are locked here on the inside. Have you surprised yourself with your run down here, uh, particularly at a track that has bitten so many in the last two nights? Um, yeah, it's pretty hard coming to someone every race before, but with all these guys, so much experience around here, but um, yeah, we're going all right. Mate, what's, what's the game plan? Go hard from the start or pace yourself? No, nah, go hard. Go hard or go home. How about it, everybody? One more time for your pole sitter from Queensland, Todd Doyle. Well, that's our 20 finalists for a long marathon 40 laps for the Australian Championship. Gee, you can cut the air with a knife, can't you? We're just looking for the man of the moment. <laughs> We could grab a quick word with him too, I think. David Go Lightly, we call him Skipper. Of course, he runs Impulse Charters. Dave, run us through turn two last night. I'm sure you don't want to revisit it in a great hurry, but that was a monumental one over there. Correct. How are you feeling, mate, first, physically? Oh, not too bad. Just a bit stiff, that's about all. But, um, yeah, very disappointing, but that's how it goes in this game, unfortunately. Mate, what about this field? 20 cars. I'm sure you'd love to be out there, but, boy, oh, boy, it's going to be a great one to watch too. It'll be a fantastic final. There's some really good drivers here. In 40 laps, it's a long way around here, and there'll be a few pretty tight at the end, I'm sure. It's going to take its toll. Just quickly, who's your pick? Uh, I, uh, I'll go the local boys. I say Justin and uh, Mr Cockrell. Well, mate, we've got a uh, very special moment now. You're going to sing the national anthem for us. You've done this before. You're an old hat at this. So as we prepare to buckle in, I would ask that everybody please join me in being upstanding. For David Golightly to sing the national anthem as we ready ourselves for the 2007 Australian Modified Productions Championship. Australians, all let us rejoice. Oh, we are young and free. With golden soil and wealth for toil, our home is good by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts. Of beauty rich and rare in history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair in joyful strains and let us sing advance Australia fair.
Yeah, come on, how about a nice round of applause? David Go Lightly doing his thing. Little different rather than 7 p.m. Well, Gavin out. We're here. I think everybody's ready. And we're waiting for those most famous words in motorsport. As we get set for the command. As everybody's ready. How's the nerves? Good. Gentlemen. Ma oh, mate, oh, you're a, oh, you are keen, aren't you? <laughs> Let them have it. Gentlemen, start your engines. Oh yeah, here we go. The Aussie title field roars to life. three and I think the car just unsettled itself as it bounced through a couple of holes down in turn three and the rest as they say is history. Gavin at this point in time over there we have someone's wheel sitting on the ground now from our angle but maybe our monkeys in the stand can help someone's underway Doyle quickly leads them down into turn number one can we get a lap safely in the books? Parkinson to the bottom, going oh. for third. Make that second as Cockerell gets a little out of shape. Cockerell maintains second. One spun to a standstill in the middle of turn three and four. 54. Ron Watts, Leeton, New South Wales. Good pick up. Straight. And we're ready to go. Third time lucky for our Australian title with 40 laps on the board. We're underway. Once again, Doyle gets the best start over Mills. Cockerell with a loose rear bumper on the Monaro. Parkinson bent. Here comes Aiden Raymond. He's up to sixth. Raymond gets a little touch from Mick Hetherington. Gee, it's tight for third. Mills, Parkinson now back to fifth as Russell Bent scoots through to fourth. Ooh. There goes the bumper. It's safely up out of harm's way in turn three. Someone who's trying a different line at the moment, Michael Hetherington uh, from Victoria, just sitting up on the top side, giving himself some opportunities for uh, something out of three and four. So Todd Doyle continues to lead. Darren Cockerell. Trevor Mills, Russell Bent challenging. Ash Parkinson for fourth. Top six evenly strung now as they approach turn one. Hetherington continues to work that high line. Not a lot out there for him as he settles in behind Anthony Wilson. That's deep in the field. Doyle showing a clean set of heels. Cockerell, now the challenge from Ash Parkinson as he sneaks through on Trevor Mills. Mills back to fourth. Russell Bent maintains fifth. Then it's Aiden Raymond. What a performance from the youngster. And he is a young star too. From Queensland running sixth in the national title. Phil Pottage 
Drifts a little wide. Is he off the pace? No, he gathers it back up. Is it Mick Hetherington's infield? Mick Hetherington out of the race. As you said there, Aiden Raymond uh, looking really smooth at the moment. He gets a fantastic run from three. Got the exit to four really tight. Just sits that front wheel in really nice on that concrete buffer. And Phil Pottage looks like he is off the pace in the 48. Oh, hard on the brakes was your race leader. It occurred right in front of him and here comes the challenge. Oh, Cockerell caught up with Pottage. Flat right rear for Pottage. Almost drama, if it already wasn't. Well, he'd, uh, Cockerell had uh, come into contact, only race contact, and just got dragged along. So there's first, second, third. Fourth is Trevor Mills, Aidan Raymond, Russell Bent, Phil Michaelis, the lap car. We're 10 in, 30 to go. Gee, there was just a glimpse of a challenge. It's Parkinson now through to second. Well, I missed that while we're watching fifth, sixth, and seventh. And Ash Parkinson. Look at him reel in your leader. In turn four, Parkinson starting to puff a little smoke from the Commodore. McAuliffe off the pace in the 36. Can he come infield? He's trying to. Almost collected by Watts. He's only going to have one opportunity. Now's his opportunity, but he can't see. No. There's your leader. There's second. If he can just get waved in. But he's not getting assistance on the main straight. There's a big opportunity to get him in. Whoa. Parkinson right on the tail of your leader on the main straight. Doesn't want to show his hand. There's no pacing yourself here. It's a sprint race. And Parkinson, just the whiff of smoke that we've seen in the car all night. Parkinson throws down the challenge on the bottom. Cockerell not giving up the chase. Now's an opportunity for McAuliffe if he can get safely to the infield. Now. Well done, Phil McAuliffe. Parkinson all over him for the lead. Here comes Darren Cockerell in the Monaro. Side by side for the lead in turn number two. The chant goes up, come on Parky. <laughs> the Queenslanders saying, come on Todd. What a battle for the lead. 23 to go, oh. Cockerell now with a chance to go to second. Hard not to be animated with a battle for the lead. That puff of smoke, we saw it in heat four from Ash Parkinson. He's been very quick thus far. Will it slow his charge? Ooh. The more this race wears on. 28, Aiden Raymond involved in a little bit of race contact there. Russell Bent. And he's slowing off the pace coming infield. Great sportsmanship from a lot of these drivers. The flat rear left. Nice pick up, Brian. As your leaders in turn three and four, Todd Doyle, Ash Parkinson, Darren Cockrell, they can all taste it. They're halfway home. Fatigue will start to play a factor. Fatigue, as we call it. Fourth and looking on is Trevor Mills, Russell Bent, Anthony Wilson. But here's your top three, Rain Ramsdale infield. Approaching three slower cars. And Could this tell a story? Well, it's going to be a race in groups. We can see the divisions that they've broken up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to two, back to three. And that front three are coming up now on the lap three. Doyle knows he's got two hard charges right behind him. Barry keeping a good, nice, tiny line. They're right in front of your leading trio in turn four. Rodney Burr, Mark Ferguson, Mick Parry. Well, they were shown the lap flag and Cockerell challenging for second. Here we go for the oh. lead in turn number three. Parkinson through. Cockerell following suit on the Queenslander. It's a one-two punch. 
Oh! Sparks flying from the Queensland champ as he tags the wall of the main straight. I predicted it was going to be an unfolding in lap traffic, and it was. The slightest hesitation from the Queenslander, and Parkinson seized the opportunity. Your new leader with 15 to go. We need some oxygen upstairs. <laughs> Cockrell in second. Parkinson going for another Aussie title. That puff of smoke. With 14 to go, will it tell its own story? Here comes Cockerell. Darren Cockerell challenging for the lead and gets it. Has Parkinson lost some ground? He's certainly blowing more smoke, Gavin. A little bit of race pace just coming. The more this wears on with that puff of smoke from Parkinson's Commodore. Darren Cockerell. He's your third race leader. We've gone non-stop. Oh, <laughs> it's been a titanic battle. What a marvellous race. And we're now down to our heat distance. 12 to go, 11 this time. Cockerell, Parkinson, Doyle. Has either of them got anything left for Darren Cockerell? Well, Cockrell, there's a hole developing in between two and three, and he's just bounced out of it but didn't lose any ground. If Anthony Wilson's running fourth, that has been a Herculean oh, effort. Pat oh, Ferguson. Evolved. Ferguson spins, brings on the cautions. Oh, oh my. Take a breath, Avalon. <laughs> Mark Ferguson brings on the cautions. The Queenslander started from position 15. What a prospect this is. There's the smoke already puffing from the number five. Doyle comes through for second on Parkinson. Is this tailor-made for Todd Doyle? Doyle comes through on the bottom. Nine to go. Doyle battles for the lead with Victorian Darren Cockerell. Cockerell still maintains the lead. Some huge question marks hanging over the mechanical abilities of the Monaro over the final eight laps. Look at Ash Parkinson throwing everything at him. There is no tomorrow. Cockerell still continues to lead. Wilson. Is looking to get by the lap car and throw his hat into the ring. Gavin Parkinson's dealing with that smoke's coming from the left inside of the cockpit out of the engine bay right over his left shoulder. Oh, Doyle challenges for the lead. Todd Doyle, the Queenslander now for the lead in turn three. Cockerell, can he fight back? Has he got anything left? Doyle was as far back as third. Five to go. Five laps to go. Count them, folks. Four this time by. Darren Cockrell, Ash Parkinson, fitting that these three would finish on the podium. They have been the show oh. as Parkinson now challenges. Is Cockerell's Monaro slowing? Is Parkinson's Commodore slowing? Can Wilson jump onto the podium? Anthony Wilson now closing for a challenge. Doyle with two laps to go. Oh, can they continue? Wilson's getting desperate. Wilson challenging for a podium, Parkinson wide open. Come on Geelong, get on your feet, one to go. Doyle's your leader. Final lap of the Australian title. Cockerell, Parkinson. Oh, Wilson in fourth. Doyle's your new champion. Parkinson trying to get to two. Wilson coming through. Second will be Parkinson, Wilson third, fourth will be Cockerell, Russell, Ben fifth.
but your new Aussie champ from Queensland is Todd Doyle. What a huge race. It's promised so much for two days now. Began on Wednesday night officially with practice. Your new Aussie champ, everybody, from Queensland, Todd Doyle. What a dramatic final lap. Your heart goes out. Did Parkey steal second? Did Anthony Wilson steal third? Darren Cockerell maybe for fourth. Russell Bent maybe for fifth. What an amazing 40 laps. Promised so much and it delivered. The walking wounded. What a tale for Ash Parkinson in the five. Did he steal second? Unofficially, I think he did. What a performance from Parkey. But take your hat off to the Aussie champ. He's a Queensland number one. He's now Australian number one. Five doors.